How often do you go on Facebook? Every day. All day. At least Every like 10 day. Times. All day. Every day. But I'm going on Facebook news. Every day. It's time. Christina, Catherine, Lisa, Amy, and Lauren. Welcome to the Cimarelli Podcast. Hey, I'm Christina. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. And, and we're Cimarelli. Welcome back to the Cimarelli Podcast. Podcast. Woo! AKA the Three Wimps in Wigs. Hey, guys. So, okay. We're back. Um, what? We're back for another week. We're back. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> been a long week feels like two anyway okay <laughs> okay maybe this someone else should oh. 206 <laughs> 206 and we are here today <clears throat> to quiz each other although i don't quite understand because i thought i was gonna be quizzing them no no. <laughs> no. Because I'm neither Gen Z nor millennial. So, so you could take I both quizzes. I'm kind of you taking both You should quiz. take both. Because and then we'll see which one you are. Yeah. We're going to find out today which generation is aiming. I am mm. definitely a millennial, okay? It's great. I'm curious if you're going to get these. I'm Okay, I'm really, really excited. Um, this millennial quiz that I have is really, really, really good. Just saying. There were some of them are actually too old for me. Only like two just like two okay but because i'm i'm i am the heart of millennials okay you really are i am right in the middle i'm a true millennial deep in the heart of texas you i feel like i am like holding a rope on the back of a truck of gen z that's trying to drive away from me and, and amy's like, like has one foot on one and one foot on the other <laughs> yes it's interesting because there's some people that are like <laughs> my you are age, not a millennial i'm thinking no. a few of my friends that are literally so millennial, but they're literally like a year older than me or a year younger than me. And I'm like, how are you so much of a millennial? Wait, what? Why? Yeah, I, I don't why. know. They're just so You millennial. know what? It's being not chronically online. That's <gasps> oh, what makes them millennial. That's 100%. Yes. There's a huge... Also, only having younger siblings oh, yeah. makes them a big millennial. Okay, that is so true. Actually, when I'm around... Pretty much all of my millennial friends, I completely alter my speech because they have <laughs> no like, idea. They will not know. They have no idea what I'm talking yeah. about for like any online type of things. I don't say any of it. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, I feel bad. They we will have not our, a clue what I'm talking. We about. turned our friend into TikTok, but she, she was used too to millennial. Be like, she used to be like, "What's rise and shine?" Yeah, you can't. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she got tired of us being like, "What?" So then she's like, "If you can't beat him." Join, Join them. I wish I could be blissfully unaware. I do I too, actually. I could, but I'm not. I okay. do feel as I am gracefully walking away from my teenage years that I'm like, Isn't I don't really know like what is going on. Isn't it a weird feeling? People. Yeah, yeah like, I have no clue. It's such a weird feeling. So anyway, we have some really good quizzes for each other and we're going to see what generation Amy is. We're going to see how much I know of the Gen Z stuff and how much Lauren and Amy know of the millennial stuff. So let's start with our highs and lows first. Ladies, what's your high and low? Oh, Hello, first we need to say, Kath is on maternity leave. Oh, Woo -woo! Yeah. And Lisa's supporting her husband through his cancer treatment. So she is in some episodes, actually. She was saying she wants to be in more episodes, but it really kind of depends on the schedule. So yeah. mm -hmm. hopefully she'll be in one soon. Yes, ma'am. All right, so highs and lows of the week. Um, My low <laughs> is that I did a performance. <laughs> <laughs> for like a writer's <laughs> run thing by myself the performance wasn't bad it, it was, was good, good. i cried it was, it was just so like it was just like really it's emotionally right. disturbing to me she to do it. went for a lot yeah because i was like singing like i did like never let me fall and pressure and skin all these like sad like, songs so much and pressure. i'm in like this random restaurant where people yeah. didn't even know it was happening oh half of them. my god so gosh. i'm like it was like emotionally Lauren. a big risk and so yeah. also, eating is, like, she was singing so vocally complex pressure. songs yes and i was just going for it i was like whatever and it was just really and disturbing piano, which you don't do live that often anymore yeah so, so it's like 
I, I messed up so bad <laughs> on the first course of Never Let Me I Fall. I literally, like, okay, you know, like, oh, if you play the wrong chord that's, like, in in the, the scheme oh, <laughs> then okay. it's fine yeah, yeah. but you play the chord right next to it instead oh. it's like that's just not it so i literally like I'm like no for sure and then i'm like so far so far to <laughs> it. So I, was like, like, I, I, like it. I like the real man i had to just recover real quick i was like oh nothing <laughs> <laughs> did great though. it was good like it was good it was just she like, commanded the room it she was did. scary <laughs> i was so scared even though i wasn't even up there by myself there's two other people on the stage and one was my good friend rachel rachel some might <laughs> say but it was just like uh, it was just like nerve-wracking stage fright and then afterwards i was like i'm never doing that again that was the worst thing i've ever done i'm never doing this but i will but i was like that was too disturbing um so yeah, that was how was your low? <laughs> Even though it was still good, it was just emotionally a lot emotionally to like draining. work through. Um, my high was for Lent. I've been doing um adoration every I week, that. and I just had a good um a good adoration. Love this it this week and some Wait, time with the Lord. To, um, what's it called? And um, yes, mm. it is. It was just like a, a a vulnerable moment, and it was good. Love that. Yeah. Hmm. No good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my days and nights have been switched in a weird way. Of like, what? I've been you going like sleep out all day at night. Party all I've night. been doing things at night during the week, we which like is like sleep. not yeah, super yikes. as much normal. So then in the mornings, for the last few mornings, I've been laying in the dark for hours, and I'm like, I need to start getting out of bed. So I'm like, I've been like switched, I think because I needed the rest and the introvert time, even though I'm not an introvert, but like, it's really weird. The low is that I haven't been able to get myself out of bed for the um, last few days. Dot, dot, dot. I've literally just been laying in the dark with the curtains watching NCIS. Ooh, so I'm like, that's not a good morning. Good. No, Ooh. it's not. And one of them was fine because I was like working and stuff, but it's just like... Yeah, that ain't right. I gotta get up, but it's it's because I've been busy like every night and was doing stuff the week before. So just like yeah. I haven't had enough time to do just me be and you, chill. Yeah. So I'm like, and if I push it too much, then I will cry, and Lauren will be like, oh no, not again. <laughs> so it's like it's all know, about me. Can't have that. <laughs> if you don't have like time to yourself to like process, this is my problem right now. To process your day the night before, you get in like this vicious cycle, and then yeah. the next day you're completely dead. But when you actually do process it, like you wake up so refreshed, and you're not like waking middle yeah. night thinking about things because you actually process. Well, see, all this I've stuff. been trying to process with the Hallow Examine every night, which I do. I start it, but I keep falling asleep before I'm processed. Oh, you have to not do it when you're like laying down then. Yeah, so I'm like. Hey, why you okay. do it so late just doing so much stuff you get home and you're like boom okay process yeah. and then you fall asleep. yeah nice. you're not really getting like time at night to like be alone yeah yeah so then i'm like okay like I we see. came home from lauren's performance and they were literally yelling in the living we room were <laughs> and i was like <laughs> i'm not to fit for society right now i'm going to bed and i just laid in my room and watched some tv but i just mm. yeah so i've been trying to get some me time in Wait. Oh, that. Wait. That's you just didn't a life say high, right? It's not really a low and a high. No, her. Oh, I was, it's not really I, a she high looked at me like you talk. I just felt like that's what I'm doing for behind low today. It's just oh, okay. like oh. a life That's update. where you've been at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All, okay. It hasn't been all bad. And just I'll like say similar thing. Life. Okay. <laughs> that's kind of my thing recently. I'm not going to talk too long. I could talk so long about this because I really need we to have. To, yeah. I really. Oh, my my good friend is coming over in two days. So we're going to go over this in depth. That's all mm. we do is we just go through whatever we're going over in. in do you like very much like schedule topics? Yeah, basically, we're like, we should talk about this. <laughs> No, yes, we do. That's funny. Love yes, that. we do. We're two J's. Mm. So we're going to talk about this for sure. But yeah, basically, so I, same thing. It's like I'm out of the habit of journaling. Uh-oh. I've hardly been journaling and it's so, uh, yeah, I've Not just been right. doing it here and there. But I need to come up with like, this one I need to come up with. The ultimate nighttime journaling prompt. That's what I need. I need the perfect one that has like, 
everything that's needed that's what i need and have then you I'm, done the hollow sleep yes yes in? i'm gonna use you can base it off of i'm gonna use that but there's more that i need it's missing i thought of a couple things mm. of like what like what do i is there anything i feel like like this is customized to me is there anything i feel like i need to bring up to nick or i need to ask oh. nick for support on that mm. needs to go in every single night because oh. i can push that down for a while in the the yeah. prayer what do you need to bring up to nick yes Stuff like that. And then, like, what... It doesn't have anything that's, like, what triggered me today, does it? No, it has, like, what it's like, stands out to you. What's, like... Yeah, an emotion or whatever. Because I did it. Yeah. yeah, I did that the other day. I forgot what it was, though. But, yeah, what triggered me today, that's actually huge for me. Because I go through every little time mm-hmm. I was triggered throughout yeah. the day, and it helps so much. So I'm going to make the ultimate nighttime journaling prompt at some point. I just keep not getting the energy to make it is the problem, so... Well, if you just make a bullet-pointed list in your notes... Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to do start it. it. I just... Every time I'm going to go to make it, I'm like, I can't do it. Maybe it's like the, the the thing where you have someone come over and sit in your room while you clean it. Well, I think I'm going to make it on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so it's that's... Like you're, yeah. That's my problem is I'm very... I'm in like a vicious cycle of like not um, processing... Mm. so it's yeah. like you don't process then, then you don't you sleep don't as sleep, well and then, then you don't want to get up and do things and then your morning doesn't go as well which screws up the rest of your day which mm-hmm. then screws up the next day yeah so you don't have the time and energy to prep yourself for your next day to you make your really next day not trash alone time you really need it yeah so then with my alone time when i ever get it i'm just like yeah just and all you can do out. is watch ncis exactly so i gotta stop the negative stuff my old therapist the one that we mutually had who was so good she was saying whenever you oh, have I like a negative her. cycle you need to map out what the negative cycle is and then you define what's the weakest point in the cycle like the easiest one to break and then you need to insert something oh. positive like the opposite into that part of the cycle that's so that's a great what idea Wait, trying to figure out what's the weakest point here that i could do so i'm gonna figure that out and nice. yes okay. i'm kidding I'm she's sorry. like you gotta make an easy change in there yeah. you can't just be like here's the biggest thing and I'm going to go for that because that's probably not going to happen. That actually makes so much sense. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, it's not It's not the worst. But it's not the It's not like the best of times. It's not like the worst of times. It's like you got a like, plan. I feel like, yeah, it doesn't feel you'll, like I'm you'll in be out of it. peril in this moment. Yeah. But also, it's like I am a great trickster of myself. Yeah, so I'm true. like, oh, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing fine. And then suddenly I realize I am not doing fine. Mm. So I'm like, am I? I can't really tell. I'm really not fun at all. I can't tell. Well, you have a plan to figure yeah. that yeah. out. I, I so feel that's like I'm good. feeling positive because I'm like, we are going to make a You're plan. You're going to make that yeah. journaling prompt. I think yeah. because I've gotten, so maybe this is the high, because I've gotten so much sun the last week. Oh, I think yes. that changed my... Oh. The weather changing is a high. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. I think that gave me the motivation that I needed. Yeah. So, there you go. Love it. I am so easily persua- er, persuaded, thrown whatever by the weather the weather is just like my captain no, I'm affected like, by i'm coming <laughs> your captain i don't think i actually am as much the weather is my captain it's just oh going so long without the sun like you need the sun yeah and i didn't get as much as i should have last summer to like build up my vitamin d stores because oh, you Pregnito, build up a vitamin d store when yeah you like have it to like last you in the winter wait can you get vitamin d when you're in the shade or no i don't know Cause I spend like six hours a day. You should look. In the there's, summer. there's a bit. I'm of, in the shade. There's a bit of a um, deep dive on vitamin D. That's interesting. About just, no one cares, but <laughs> it's like supplements aren't really exactly what you think when it comes to vitamin D. So look, just look into them. Okay. Look into them. Okay. It's sad though. But anyway, so that's what I was saying. Is in the summer I was pregnant, so every time I go in the sun, I would want to die. So yeah, I was hardly in the that. sun. I was like. As soon as I stepped in the sun, I was roasting alive because mm. you are your body <clears throat> temperature shifts. You yeah. you realize how much one little degree or half degree really is. Wait, OK, when is this you're pregnant, a medical you shift. problem because when I normally take my temperature because I take it a lot randomly to make sure I'm not having fever. It's always like 95. Yes, <laughs> that can be a problem. That's or, low. or your thermometer's Time. broken. But it's running 95, new. 96 can be a lot of things. It can be like low certain hormones, to plenty of things. But okay. yes, that is not a normal temperature. Mm-hmm. Mine's always like 97 something or after ovulation, 98.6. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. See, I... 98.4. I don't know. Before, 97.5, 97.6. <sighs> it's just the T. Because it shifts after, like at least six points. Okay, anyway. Nobody cares about that. So <laughs> let's go to quiz time. The main topic, Woo! the millennial Gen Z quizzes. Yeah. Oh, but first I have to tell you, if you want to get all the full episodes, since we only post every other full episode on YouTube, 
you need to join our Patreon, patreon.com slash Simmerally. Link to the description. And there's so much on there, guys. So many past series we've done called um, Spill Sister... Sister, sister spill. spill sister spill sister story there's story time there's things we don't talk about oh secret there's life game of an, night secret, secret life, life of, of an influencer. influencer uh wacky wednesdays with lisa there's so much to monday watch. motivation yeah oh my gosh we used to do we monday used to make those. did we each used to do that yes. yeah maybe we should bring those back those were good oh mine were actually so good now that i think about it they were actually no, so good. literally i remember making i them. watched one of mine back and i was like that was really good i bet they were it was really good okay. i enjoyed mine were them. probably like Haha. uh yeah join patreon um you can also be a part of Lauren's Take. That's where we get the questions. And it really, really helps us and supports us. So if you want to support us, that is a great way to do it. Thank you so much to our patrons. We love you. And there's an exclusive patrons only live stream. There's a bunch of different tiers. There's a birthday club. You get exclusive merch and a video from us singing to you every year. And there's a higher tier where you get to Zoom with us and the birthday club stuff. So yeah, check it out. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. So we've all been in therapy for many years. Many yes, years. we have. Many, 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 I think, many years. I think I've been in and out of therapy for oh, 18 years. Wow, it's been 10 for me. I have no clue. Cool. And we've all talked about therapy online for years, just encouraging everyone to go. Honestly, before it was cool. I feel like it's accepted now, which is great. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. And it definitely wasn't before. So we are, yeah, we're really big advocates of everyone should go to therapy for various reasons you know there's like tough times in life like different seasons or mm-hmm. just just like a a tune-up no it's not i never need just a tune-up <laughs> there are plenty of reasons is what i'm saying yeah. and if you are looking for a therapist right now better help could be the perfect solution for you better help is online therapy so you get to skip the process of google therapist and then you have to like reach out to them and then figure out all this stuff whatever then try them out and then like break up with them <laughs> basically with better help you fill out the questionnaire which we all check out this questionnaire you fill out the questionnaire you get on there and they assign you to someone based on what you filled out and then if you don't like them you just switch Boom. Easy as that. So super great option for therapy. All online. Great alternative to just in-person therapy. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Cimarelli to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Cimarelli. 10% off your first month. All right. So we're going to do the quiz. Do you want to do yours first? How about you? Okay. <laughs> I'm more looking forward to doing mine, so I want to save for a while. But yeah, we could do mine no, first. do do okay. that one first. So I have this quiz. Oh my gosh, I just cannot sit. Um, mm, yikes. and it old is age. not the old age. <laughs> <sighs> no, this is from childhood. Okay. Oh, I always yeah, hate sitting. I get that. Okay, so in church, I'm always fidgeting. Like every minute, I'm changing positions. I'm moving and moving. This is from Buzzfeed. Okay. And this was so good. Um, it's called These 20 Trivia Questions Will Separate the Millennials from the Gen Zers. Okay. okay. Um, there's only like, there's two of them that I didn't even know. So, that, not even Wait, so should I just have Lauren can answer first and then I'll answer? Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Because, I think I know all these. Because Amy's more likely to know, she's not going to answer first. Yeah. Okay. So, look at this picture and tell me if you know what that is. Blockbuster. Amy? Blockbuster. Right? It's like the movie ticket thing. Yeah. So the question is, is it Hollywood Video, Circuit City, Media Play, or Blockbuster? I don't know. That's the only one I know. It's Blockbuster. You got it right. Okay, thank you. Okay, what is this a part of? Oh. It's me. Sorry. What is this a part of? Can you not see when I hold it over here? I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. No. But I'm trying to look, see if I know what it is. Like, oh, what's this? Okay, what is it a part of? I I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, my. Do you know what it is? You didn't know what I say. It's a computer mouse. Yes. (laughs) You didn't know that? I never used that. I used a mouse with a cord. Oh. That is. 
No, that is. They have the little ball in the bottom. You just never though. played. With that was for like nerds or something. I don't know. I only used like the normal she ones. She used the ones that were okay. a little bit more advanced. Than what that. did this dog want? Oh, duh. I have no idea. Amy, what is it? Taco Bell. It's a Taco Bell Chihuahua. Uh, Taco Bell. My spirit animal. Oh my gosh, Lord is that so is funny. literally okay, my spirit animal. I'll be surprised if Amy want, if Amy knows this one. Okay, let's see. What company was this guy the spokesperson for? No idea. Wait, I immediately wait, wait. knew. I've it. never seen this man. Could be walking on the street. I wouldn't know a thing. <laughs> I actually have no clue. It's giving Windows. Mac, Dell, Windows, or Gateway? I don't know. Dell. Dell. I don't even know what Dell. Why is. do I not know that? <laughs> okay, I, I don't think you're gonna know this that. one. What is this phone called? Oh wait. Uh oh oh I, I know. know. It's chocolate sidekick, chocolate. razor, or droid. Chocolate. It's neither of those other ones, so I don't know. Okay, yes, know. chocolate. The cho- and chocolate, and they had it in brown. That they didn't LG put the brown chocolate. version of it because that's, that's like fake. Okay. That's blue. I think you know this one just because it's different now with like movies and stuff. Because like things come back around on TikTok, so you can learn it all. Mm-hmm. You should know this. What's this one? What like it's hard? Oh, that's um Legally Blonde. Yeah, that was yeah. Movie. But I mean, I feel like everyone's seen. That I movie. love that movie. Okay, I'm curious if you know this one. I feel like you have to know this. What do you store in this? Oh, um, <laughs> oh, you're guessing. Uh, like you're film, thinking. whatever that is. Yeah, film, like camera. right? Okay, yes, film. <laughs> camera film. film. <laughs> you had to think about that? Well, okay. I had to see think what it was. I was like, because I never actually used a camera. You had to do film like that. So I was like having to like recollect. <laughs> okay, what that. restaurant did this subway used to be? Oh. Wait, don't I scroll down. I have to look in closer. You know, you down. eye shamed me when you're the one with worse eyesight. Yikes! Um, what? <laughs> what did this subway use me? Don't scroll down. I said, don't scroll down. Okay, you I scrolled. didn't. No, no. I accidentally did. Uh, I don't know. Wait, let me see. Pizza Hut? What do you think? <laughs> I can't tell actually it's very easy to tell is it giving um well okay but i feel like if i saw the names read the names that's why you can't see the names read the names radio shack blockbuster mcdonald's or pizza hut oh pizza hut pizza it was a hut yeah, on okay. the roof so yeah, yeah i was, I was okay. how tricked. is that millennial though pizza hut still exists but the maybe buildings it doesn't look are like different that now lauren i feel like a lot oh of maybe now. okay what is the name of this texting method Four four pause oh, three yes, three yes, pause yes. nine 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 equals yes. K. What is that called? Um, T nine. T nine. How do you know that? Because you were texting on T nine. Yeah, I you were that. so good at it. Under the table, like yeah, you were really like, good. I, you didn't have to look at your phone. I did use T nine texting at some point in my young Wait, life. Wait, we what? would play oh. with flip phones yes. that didn't have service. Yeah, okay, okay. and we would just like yeah, type I would on just them. take pictures on. Okay, my... everyone thinks you don't know this, but you definitely know what this is. Uh, window door see thing. It? Yeah, I can the see it. The car window crank. But that's like old. It that's rolls like out the window. Uber that's like really land. old, right? Okay, there are two that I actually don't know the answer to, so I'm not doing those. Okay, this one. On what website would you see this? I had to look closer. I would say don't look Wait, at the options. Wait, it went away. Don't look at the options because yeah, it's yeah, actually going to make it um, narrow it down for you. So don't look at the options. Okay, what would you see this? What website is that? Easy. This looks like a weird spam ad that I would see on oh any random God. website. So I don't know. What website is this? It's giving MySpace. It's MySpace. What oh, is MySpace? And that just looks a like weird spam. a random ad. Like because on, it like, was so old. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> where do you stick this? It says, where were you supposed to stick one of these? I don't know what that is. Wait. I have no idea. You don't know what that is? No. I feel like I know what that is. Oh, but wait. Is that like a Game Boy thing? What is it? Like, you put the game Honestly, in? Honestly, I'm confused. This is Nintendo. Is Nintendo. 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 Nintendo okay. 64 game. But that okay. is but not like an accurate depiction no of what the game There's no picture on it. That's exactly what it but looks like. But that picture. looks like a tombstone. Or like that's back exactly of a, what it looks like. It looks yeah, like yeah. the back of a plane So seat. that's what I'm I like, meant. I meant Nintendo. It's a video game thing. Okay. Yes. I meant that. What we had those. did these yellow bracelets say? 
life something. Were those like the Lance, <laughs> the Lance Livestrong or something? Life like something. Lance Armstrong ones? Livestrong, yes. Yeah, yeah, life something. Yeah, you were you were there. It was rare. I, I think you know this one. Okay. What is this game called? Don't oh, scroll. Oh, duh. Oh, um, not Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> mine field, mine, <laughs> mine thing, something mine. What mine, is mine sweeper. sweeper. Mine sweeper. I did play that. That was fun. Yeah, I knew you must have known that one. Yeah. Because we would play on like older computers and stuff, yeah. like mine sweeper and stuff. Okay. Who loves orange soda? Who oh, loves from orange Nickelodeon? Soda. <laughs> is it okay? I'm like, uh, your husband. Yeah, I don't I know. Like, Nick, <laughs> Nick, I don't know. Actually, me as a kid, I was obsessed um, with orange it's soda. It's giving Keenan or Cal. Who? I Which don't, one, wait. Amy? It's giving Ka- Keenan, right? Cal. Wait, which one is? Wait, I'm confused. I Cal. don't really know them. Well, I know the who one they that are. Is not on SNL right now. That's Cal. Cal, yes. Because they're the good burger people, but I honestly have very minimal recollection of that show. Okay. Of, like, their show. I'm going to ask you a couple more, and then we're going to go to yours. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I really don't remember Keenan and Kel, that show. I'm just very... Do you know what a Tamagotchi is? Yes, of course! Not a Tamagotchi. I actually don't. Well, you say either way. But it's something about, like, a little pet or something, right? Yeah. And it's like... What does it look... Describe what it looks like. What does it look like? It's like a little thing, <laughs> plastic thing with like a keychain okay, or something. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. And you have like a pet or something on yes. it, right? Yes. And it's like a little game yes. where you like feed the pet and stuff. That we never so had those weird. though. I don't know why. Yeah, okay. I never really got that one. We never had them. You know what a razor is? The phone. Duh. Yeah, you a know what it looks phone. like? Okay. Do you know I what? Do. Wait, she you should know this. She had one featured in her music video series. That doesn't mean she knows what's called. No, do you I know? Don't. You should know this. You know what LimeWire is? Yes, where you illegally <laughs> download music. Did you and download I've never something? done that. When you were like five? Yes, I was not five. I was like oh. eight. Okay. <laughs> it was Owl City. <laughs> we well, daddy <laughs> LimeWiring Owl City. Yeah, I was. I love it. Okay, most of these are actually too easy. Well, you could still give me a whirl. Like you you should know this. Right. You know what the yellow pages are. Oh, yeah. The phone book or whatever. I saw a TikTok recently of someone who didn't know that. Is that like I mean, unsafe I could see that you wouldn't not. know that if you were younger than me. For like stalker and privacy vibes, yeah, is scary. that unsafe or not? Yes. It's weird. Yeah. Because everyone's literally listed. But then so is the stalker. Yeah. So, so you can stalk them right him. back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'm trying to see if anymore. Um. You know all these. Wow. See, I know all the answers. These are too easy. Um, do you know what WWW means? Like World Wide Web? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think w- a lot of people w- don't even know the WWW exists. P S colon slash slash. Do I know that? Yeah, I do. She knows. Do you know what band Gwen Stefani was a part of? Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> okay, okay. She's cultured. I know like music stuff. Yeah, most generally. of these you know, which is interesting. Um, last one, last one, last one. Last one, last one. Oh, do you know okay. what a tether ball is? Is that like there's a pole <sighs> and it's on a string? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. okay, Wait, okay. We're about, okay. Finish the um title of this movie, Lauren. Stepsister from. What? I don't know that. Stepsister from Planet Weird. Oh, I don't know what you're going to say. I don't know that one. Sorry. Stepsister from Planet Weird. Do you know what moon shoes are? Um, If you saw them, you would know them. No. Do you know Silly Putty? Yeah. We okay. had that. Okay. Right. Yes. It's like okay. Play-Doh-ish is like okay, so the Lauren, millennial slime. Lauren's clearly not a millennial, but Amy is Amy's questionable. Giving. She's questionable. I told you I identify as a millennial more. You're questionable. I'm very questionable. Yeah. Have you ever called someone ignorant? Yes. That's no. a <laughs> Not to their face. That's a real millennial. I, I have I never should. done that. They're so ignorant. That I is just saw, such I saw a my millennial Facebook, phrasing. No, I saw my Facebook um, post the other day um, from back in the day, and I was saying that. That's what millennials fave thing to insult at oh. a certain time. Ooh, okay, okay. What was, so your, what was your screen name? Click five makes me faint. 
Mine was the one that you made for me, which is AC, my short and sweet. That yeah. was the email you made for my me. My first email was frog girl <laughs> 101 <laughs> with one G. Frog girl. Did you, did you I didn't even frog, like frogs. Frog I don't know why, why I are did you that. Frog girl. Okay. Because okay. I thought We're it was get like to, clever. I'm going to get to Gen Z. <laughs> so I crafted my own quiz. Oh my God. Um, because a lot of them weren't really giving Gen Z. But then I feel like I'm not quite the representative of Gen Z because I'm like older Gen Z. So this is just my own version of a Gen Z quiz. Okay. And it was taken from a lot of quizzes that were like, oh, which one are you? So it's like some of these questions, it's more like however you answer, then that tells me which one you are, okay. which what? I already know what you are, but. What is that? <laughs> we'll just see. <laughs> You'll okay. see, okay. So my first question is, what emoji do you use to show that you're laughing? Wait, I don't use any. If you were if to you use were one, to. like that is so funny, what would you use? I would never use one. Really? Oh, I would go, oh, that. Okay, the crying? crying? Laughing. No, not crying, just going. Oh, okay. That's interesting because I'm not, millennials. If I'm forced to, I'll do crying laughing, but okay. I don't love that. It always looks too happy for me. Okay, because millennial is the crying laughing and Gen Z is the skull yeah. or like the tears like pouring. Yes. So that's very millennial <laughs> of you. Really, this quiz is like. How millennial are you, and do you know certain Gen Z things? I was at naturally. Yeah, I love the skull on that music. That's funny. Towards, I love the skull. It's so, it's so good. Funny. I, can't, I feel weird using it though, but I love it. I gravitate I think towards you, the crying laughing I can't naturally. Use it. Yeah, no, it feels so off for a moment. I used skull, to, I had to, but now it just feels like satire when I use it. So it's like the crying laughing. Yeah, it's like like, <laughs> like yeah, because it looks you, so. <laughs> yeah, it's like let's relax. Okay, how I like often? When other people use it. I feel like it comes across really like nice. Yeah. Okay. If they're like a millennial, they probably will use it. Yeah. How often do you go on Facebook? Every day. All day. Every, every like ten day. Times. All day. Every day. But I'm going on Facebook news. Every day. Wait, you both go on every I day. I go on Facebook every news day. all day. Do every I scroll day. my feed to look at things people I know? No, Facebook but I look news? at Facebook news what do you, all day. Okay, what do you do on Facebook? Oh my God. <laughs> Who's posting? <laughs> Lots of people. A lot of oh, okay. it is my friend's parents. <laughs> That's okay. too real. Or like family, older family members or friends. Plenty of millennials post all okay, the time. Okay, wow. And then there's lots of groups on Facebook. Facebook. News. That's the best thing about Facebook is the mom groups. Oh, and Ugh. then Facebook Marketplace. I go on all the time. But they're getting rid of Facebook news. Wow. <laughs> Thank okay. goodness. So that's very millennial. But that's and how I know everything you. that's ever happened. And they always get me with like certain videos and then I get sucked into the videos. But then it's so weird. Then you get into like their reels and it's, it's but listen, so bad. If you want to have like a confidence boost, post on Facebook a cute little pic and then all of your mom's friends are going to be commenting. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you're a very millennial. I'm, okay. <laughs> How much how much time know, it's unfortunate. do you spend on TikTok in a day? A lot. A lot. Okay. So you you too have too much time. You're Agreed. in both places. Agreed. Too but there are so there's I'm on I'm partially on millennial TikTok. She's on millennial TikTok. Mm -hmm. But I'm also on young Gen Z and part of it might even be alpha like high school like i get some weird tick i'm like why why do you ever this? see the throwback to high school in 2012 tiktok oh, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. do you get scared no i'm like oh that's a good time. Like it's worse, like, when I no, see, no, there's a bunch of 2008 no ones. i've seen people like high school in 2014 and i'm like that was not that long ago people that's 10 years relax Yes, but they're That's acting like years. it was 1980. I'm but like, it was very different. Okay, oh I was there, and it wasn't okay. that long ago. Well, I'm like seeing um, people's like prom transition videos. Like, why am I seeing that? This is like 17 year. Why am I getting? Because it's fun. Okay, I love the prom. Next transition. question. They are cute. When you hear the name Harry, who comes to mind? Styles. Probably only because of you guys, Harry Styles. I'm trying to think of who else I would think of Harry. Yeah, who are the other well, Harrys? They're saying millennials would think Harry Potter. Oh. And Gen what? Z would no, think, think Harry Styles. I'm not thinking Harry Potter because Harry Potter isn't really relevant at this moment. 
back several years, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. You probably Harry would think I went that, to right? every single premiere right away. I got every book no. the day it came out. No, but you don't think the day of just Harry as Harry Potter. But if you say Harry, I'm not thinking of Harry Potter. I because think of I Harry don't Styles. think about Harry Potter anymore, unfortunately. Mm. Ariel thinks of Prince Harry. Well, former Prince Harry. No. Okay, yeah. Some Absolutely might think not. Of he abdicated his title. That okay. was a question from Okay, one of those I quizzes. would have thought of Harry Potter. But okay. not right now. I would not have. Okay. Sorry. What does the wait is an acronym when it's for multiple yeah. words? Okay. What does the acronym ATP mean? Wait, what? <laughs> no idea. How ATP? Yeah. I never heard it before. I wait, have no, never wait. Wait, wait I think I? I did see it today. I was like, what the what the heck is this? It means at this point. <gasps> Who said that? <laughs> I, I totally say that. said it. And I was like, what is oh that? Oh my gosh, if people <laughs> stop saying BFF and they say BSF. Oh, I oh that's know. weird. That is terrorism on it's the whole like front. like best friend BSF. Yeah, BSF. And then boyfriend's like BF. That's yeah, still but the that's same. normal. Something's so changed. Why do they not do BFF? BSF. Because yeah, it's like BSF not forever. Like, are you it's not forever because they're like, friends come and go, B. What? Because <laughs> it's gone. not forever. It's just... So Best don't add the F. It's not forever. Mm, I can see it, though. It's, like, too cringe to say BFF for, like, a young person. Like, yeah, ew, no, not I'm forever. BFF forever. They got commitment yeah. issues, guys. Okay. What does the acronym TFW mean? Lauren, what? Guys, can you, you seen this. Okay, like, TFW, you go to the store, and then they don't have what you wanted. That feeling one? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't I think just of guessed the middle that. Word. I have no idea. <laughs> I have never seen that one either. People use it a lot on like TikTok. I you actually, probably just block it I'm out. I'm good at guessing acronyms. I think so I, I do block I didn't know it that. out. I didn't know that. Okay. I did not know but that. But ATP, I did not know that. But maybe if do you, you know it in, what in a sentence. SM means. Yes. In what sentence? What I ever Just if that? you no. ever saw it in a text, someone just saying blah, 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 SM. Depends on how they said it. I would guess. I, I would have so to guess. So you you can't think off the top to of your what it mind. Was. I it's use so it all much. the time. Okay, actually, yes. Like, so much. I use I all the time. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Do yeah. you know what SMT means? Something. I mean, you're not supposed to guess first. Sorry. But Never yes, yeah. I do SMTH. I do SMTH. But people do SMT. I now, think millennials used to do SMTH, actually. Yeah, so maybe that's my I millennial. W slash? Showing. <laughs> Okay. So um okay. Do you use Snapchat? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Except for for it would be for band purposes, but I haven't in a while. Yeah. I miss Snapchat. I don't use Does either, one of my friends have Snapchat? No. Good. Does I anyone miss I speak it. to have Snapchat? I feel my like brothers. They would deserve jail time, no offense if your friends have Snapchat. It's so weird. My little brother told me that what he told me this a couple years ago, so I assume this is still the same. He said that literally what kids do, teenagers, is they just like find random Snapchat just like recommends you all these people. They're <gasps> like, try this person, this no. person. They just, and they just add all these Stranger people. Stranger danger. I think it tells you they're like mutuals. Yeah. So so then they just add random people and they start snapping around people like, hey. Oh, scary. Who are you? What school do you this go to? Like blah, blah, blah. Omega. And that's no. what they do. That's what teens That is do. called... Stranger have you danger. ever this used scary. Omega? No. No. <laughs> Actually, Absolutely don't you know what it is? is? No. Yes, okay. I know what it is. I think that's more Gen Z people I don't did know that as a team. It's a weird website really where you creepy. go and you can just talk to a random person. Oh, wait. I've seen videos you of this. You chat with weird I randos. Would, that is not something I would do. That is not do. safe. I have no desire to talk to random people. That is people. really not that's safe, good. Kids. Okay. Who do you think of... If no. you think of like te a teen boy band, um, a teen boy band, yeah, what does that mean to you? Okay, if I'm like, oh, a teen boy band, who do you think of? Oh, so you're like, oh, there's this new boy band. They're like, I feel like we didn't have any when you were a teen. Yes, you we didn't okay. have any when I was because it was a like teen. emo. No, when not when kid. you were a teen. Teen, like, <laughs> oh, I would think of One Direction. Me okay. too, actually. Okay, because I think that this generation, they would think of, why don't we? That's like the teen boy band. No, but you guys I don't even know who that is. No, it's not. Yep, it is. They're that big? Yeah. That's the teen boy band in this time, guys. What? But really, I would think of 
Backstreet Boys and Sync. Hello. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, would think of One Direction or um, Dream Street <laughs> or Five Sauce, but Were that's older Gen Z. No, I knew who Ninety Eight Degrees was, but I didn't like them because they were boring. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Because <laughs> they had like slower songs. I didn't like that. First off, I guess it's a two part question because I need the first question. Do you know who the Walmart? yodeling boy is yes not yeah wait, not you. uh yeah i think wait do i okay what's his name you go oh. mason ramsey know? yes oh wait i uh, saw yeah, i saw yeah. a recent no, thing because no, no. he has a new single and yeah. it sounds really good like, so oh, yeah i kind of know who that is but not really okay he went viral for yodeling in walmart it was yeah. a big deal okay who is 21 savage oh i have a rapper yeah i have no idea <laughs> he, can you if can I you saw think him, of what he looks like if i saw him if i heard him not one I, clue. he could be walking around this down is? the street he's like the rapper of this time what what's, I, his, what's a song he could be i actually down don't the know but I he has a, a um, he has a cross tattooed on his forehead that's how i remember oh him. i don't oh know my gosh. Every, but he's on like every feature every current rapper i have not a clue who the only is. thing i know is i definitely no, age out of i don't rap. know any of no, I don't know him. He could walk to be not. We had really good rappers in millennial time, I would say. Okay. I'm going to ask time. a few obvious ones. Okay. Um, do you prefer a middle part or a side part? Okay. Mm. I always had a side part, but then in LA, this stylist told me I needed a middle part. Then I started doing a middle part. That's um. the only reason. But I'm a side part at heart. I feel like I'm going to go back to side soon. I'm like slightly the side of the middle. I like oh, okay. pushed myself to do the middle and I like it. But I, I haven't done a side part in like two, three years. You'll yeah. If you watch our videos. I go back and forth. I had like a side part for a long time. And then at a certain point, I you'll see. I do it like once a year. I'm trying to tell us. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to tell us. If you watch our videos, you'll see. It's like side, 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 side. And then it switches to middle and it never goes back to side pretty much. That was just because that one lady. Oh, you um, had like bangs with came the side. to our house. She was like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I went really far to the side. It was kind of getting more emo, but I am not yeah. emo. Cats Love the emo. emo. Okay. I would cut my own bangs. That's Do fine. you prefer skinny jeans or loose jeans? Looser, even though I'm wearing skinny jeans. Yeah, you were literally wearing skinny jeans. So. No, actually, no, no. Listen, I remember when skinny <laughs> jeans came out. You didn't even say anything. I no. remember. <laughs> no, none of those. Um, oh. Um, what's it called? Boot cut. Um, boot cut flare flare, flare flare boot cut flares that's what i want so i okay. was so mad when skinny jeans came out i remember mm -hmm. i was a teenager and i was so mad because i just think they're not because i have no ankles okay so when it's like comes in on my tiny ankles it's just not right for me is okay? that why they don't look good on me that much? Mm, maybe i don't know i hate it i hated them then whatever i adapted i think we need the volume i hate when men wear them doesn't affect me now but <laughs> at that time in my life i was like wow you're ruining all men thanks because okay. that not was, all men no no because no. that was the days <laughs> of the really really skinny man jean the jonas brothers are wearing them yes why why would they do why this why are we us? doing this i don't know so anyway okay. i'm a skinny jeans hater i like wow. flares okay so that's you're what like i want that's third called, option that is a millennial though that is yeah. a real millennial i'm a real millennial okay high waist or mid or low waist mm, high waist Hi <laughs> why did i think about that high waist yeah, it's millennial. Low. Sorry, guys. I grew up with Sorry the low. We did have the low waist. Yeah, well, it was all low mean, waisted. And then as soon as we all millennials, as soon as we discovered high waisted, we were like, we're never going back. We're never going back. It is but, more and then we all had kids generally. and we said, we're really never going back. <laughs> okay, but also circling back to the pants when skinny jeans came out, they were weird. I love skinny they jeans. They were not like that popular. I they were them. colored skinny jeans. They were, oh my gosh. Yes, they were I popular. never had those. Everyone switched At to first, them. they were the emos, and then they took over. But at first, okay. they were not like the defining. I am a hater pants. of those. That's Except okay, for guys. like my black skinny jeans, I think are Oh, really black cute. skinny jeans are an exception. With a rip on the knee. Yep. That was my it. That those is look an it girl In like 2016. Look. Those are cute, I will say. Okay. What is drip? Oh. Lauren. <laughs> I've seen this on the internet. <laughs> you don't know what this is? I is thought you would like, know this. Um, Joey says all the time, isn't this like your outfit or something? Yes. Yeah, like style. <laughs> yes. Like, oh, yeah, my Joey drip. for sure says that. Otherwise, would I have a clue? No. Did you know that? Yes, I did know that. Okay. 
I, I don't know. I thought she would know that. Okay, what does no. camp mean? I camp? don't quite get it. Wait. I think I've seen it a few times. I don't get it. Like the fashion term that they used at... No, not for that, though. It's like... It is that, but it's like, They've like broadened taken it the meaning. On. Isn't it's that like, like cringy and ironic? But, but like, it like it works. Like, it oh, it's yeah. camp. Oh like gosh, it was so weird people. that yeah, it was like, that's like weird or cringy, camp. but it, it's like. I think it's because Gen Z people can't admit that like something cringe that is something they like. So they're like, oh, it's camp because oh. <laughs> it's weird, but I actually like it. So, okay. okay. I get it. I get it. I get okay, it. Okay. This will be my last question. When I say the name Jojo, who do you think of? Jojo. Obviously, Jojo. Jojo. Joanna Levesque. Get out. Because now. a lot of people would think of Jojo Siwa. No. And not it's Jojo. Joanna. I don't know who queen. she is. I'm sorry. Our queen. Our aquamarine. Our queen. R&B 13-year-old belting it out on the scene. Queen. I think of her, too, but there's a new one. Jojo. Sorry. Or there's Casey and Jojo. Who's that? Who is that? Okay. <laughs> That's a real millennial right there. I don't know who that is. Anyway, moving on. So that's that. Let's go five props. props. Woo! Okay, so I was desperate. I was trying to come up with five pops this morning because I had to send it to get from um, Kath, Kath and Lisa. Lisa. Oh, we didn't think of that. So this is what I searched. I searched <laughs> icebreaker questions for adults. Oh, no. That's literally what I searched because there was scared. all these articles called that. So I was like, sure, let's look at that. But they were pretty bad. But then I found one and I was like, let's do this one. And it was, if you could get rid of, eliminate. eliminate. One thing in your daily routine, what would you get rid of? Why would I get rid of anything and in my routine? I, I, I no, can get rid of anything. Is there one thing that you hate I'm not doing? Forced. No, no, something like brushing your teeth. Yes, you are forced. <laughs> I'm actually Don't not. I have free will optional. and choice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, for instance, if that wasn't the thing that for some reason was necessary, if you could make it. Well, not I'm just have saying to, the wording, I'm like. Okay. okay, if okay, you can I get make it, something like not necessary, not necessary. So you don't have to do okay. it like it's not necessary <laughs> because that is necessary. Um, okay. Then 100% it would be that. I oh. hate brushing my teeth. Oh. oh, I would say washing my face. Because you know why? And this is a um, sad but true story. <laughs> it's because once I started having a lot of anxiety, I would throw up from brushing my teeth a lot. So. Oh, trauma. When it's I'm like pregnant, not quite giving. Every time I go to so brush my every teeth, time I brush gag. my teeth, I'm like, am I gonna throw up this time or gag? I actually. So I don't yes. that. When I'm pregnant, it's horrible. I, I like it. brushing my teeth. I like flossing. I like all that, but I don't like washing my face. It's mm. so boring. I get water literally everywhere, and I'm like soaked. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm so violent with it, but I do. I'm trying to think of what are all the things in your daily routine. Yeah, so what? Is, there's like, not the that many. Um, it's making like, food um, is the bane of my existence. Actually, mm. I agree. I don't really love just because food. I have, yeah. because I have kids now. Yeah, it's like I have no time to make food. I wish um I would never have to make food again. Eh. I don't think I really hate anything. Washing my face before bed if I'm wearing makeup. That's why I hate wearing oh. makeup. I hate, like, when I'm on a day that uh, we only film two days a week. So every other day, if I think about putting makeup, I'm like, then you have to wash your face. And I'm like, nope. Don't you wash it anyway, though, no. at night? Oh. In the morning? No. Oh. When I'm, okay, when I'm sick and I go, like, two weeks without wearing any makeup, my skin's glowing. Okay. So I just try to not touch it. Huh. That's what I do. Okay, let's hear what Kath and Lisa had to say. This question, eliminating something from your daily routine, that's really hard. I actually don't mind. Like, I was thinking through my entire daily routine. And I was like, I can't really think of almost anything that I would want to permanently eliminate. Um, the only thing that comes to mind is certain seasons of life, like when you have a new baby or like toddlers and everything's just kind of crazy oh. it would be nice to eliminate like having to cook dinner That's what I'm saying. but i wouldn't want to permanently eliminate that because there's a lot of nights That's that true. i like really enjoy cooking mm. it's just some nights when there's like a crazy day i wish i didn't have to cook dinner or um cleaning the house sometimes i wish my house could just magically be clean especially okay. having two Dishes. toddlers who are like little tornadoes um, so yeah, if I could just eliminate cleaning or cook, cooking at certain times, but there's other times where I don't mind either of them. So I don't know. It's really hard. Cause I, I can't think permanently on that. Wait, that just made hmm. me think of what it is. 
It's hand washing dishes. Yes, because that is horrific. It's a sensory nightmare it's for me. Torture. I hate, it. I Maybe hate hand gloves. washing. Okay, Lisa. Oh, I gloves, I think, would, would work for you. Oh, it's such a nightmare. All right. If I could eliminate one thing from my daily routine, it would probably <laughs> be cleaning. Like, I would have the house just magically always clean. Yes. That isn't even part of my daily routine, honestly. I don't clean every day. But yeah. I just wish that I didn't even have to. To be so magical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be so magical. That was funny. Okay, let's go to the sister spotlight where ye- each sister gets a spotlight in her. No, that's not it. One sister gets a spotlight in her each week. Mm. Or is it? Yeah. So the options are get real with Christina, sappy or sassy thoughts with Kath, Lisa's mm-hmm. corner, Amy's rants for raves, Lauren's take. <laughs> and the sister is. Da, 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 da. Ding. Ding. It's Tina. you. You know what? It's you. Could we do Elisa's. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's you, you it's you, you. <laughs> we also like, i feel like we do? could do a lisa story time yeah, the, uh, i wonder voice if, memo. if lisa or calf could even like film a little video like a five minute video that'd be like, fun and do one of them that yeah. could be fun yeah okay. so today my topic is what we all need to make more plans mm. okay i love it Basically, anything in life you just need to make a plan for. Because I think as kids, or maybe it's just me, I don't know, you love to make plans for everything, right? And you love to make lists for everything, right? No? Yes? Some, perhaps. Okay. <laughs> for, perhaps some. But, okay, people make like summer bucket lists as kids, yeah, yeah. right? They make plans for things. They want to... <laughs> <laughs> okay, some people do. I did, yeah. Okay, I love making like plans. To make I love more plans, plan. right? And then we, I, or at least me, okay, who loved making plans, just stopped making as many as I got older. And then I, recently, I'm like, no, we gotta make plans. I think basically anything happening in your life, if you make a plan, it will be better. As long as you don't do uh, this horrible trap, which is where a you make a plan, plan and then you are like doing all this crazy thinking like all or nothing thinking or all these different things where you're like i made a plan and i didn't do it perfect and then you like use the plan to like smack yourself with don't do that Mm. that. it's got to be it has to be a good plan though it's not a good plan if you're not doing any of it that's a bad plan so Mm. restart if your plan if you make a plan and it's not working um that's probably because you're too ambitious with it. And also, you probably plan for it, like, the wrong days of the week and the wrong mm. times of the day. That's something I realized. It's like if you plan for, like, grocery shopping every Monday night and then you realize, oh, my gosh, every Monday night I am so mentally exhausted. And I, I, you might be like, why am I so lazy? But it could be like, no, 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 you just need to have it on Friday morning. So that's a big major key, I will say, mm. is time and place. Time and place. Time of the week. Time of day. Time That's of the really month. important. Time of the no time of the month. True. Time <laughs> of the month. One hundred percent. I do my best journaling during my period and right after because oh, it's a very reflective. That's interesting. Time, I will say. Oh, you know. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I okay. never noticed. I, that, I didn't know that. So that's interesting. Yeah, it's a really reflective time. Okay. So anyway, um, we all need to make plans. More plans. <laughs> and when we have like when we have any problem, we need to make a plan. Yes. I love it. That's okay. what I'm telling yeah. you. Because that's what Amen. I'm doing right now. Hallelujah. I'm like, oh, I have this problem, this problem, this problem. And then I'm like, oh, I, every day I just keep saying, I have this problem, this problem, this problem. And then at some point I was like, you know what? It's time to make a plan because the problems are, they're not going away. No. So mm-hmm. let's make a plan. It's like if you're, um, you're somewhere, like you're in a certain place, like literally physically in a certain place. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, oh, I'm in the jungle. And then every day you're like. I'm in the jungle. Mm. At some point you go, you know what? I need to actually get out of the jungle. So why don't I make a plan to get out of the jungle? Mm. And then you actually figure True. out where you're going to go, how you're going to get there, how long-ish, what you need to bring with you, what are the details. Mm-hmm. Hello, it's not it's not going to change. You're just going to be stuck in the jungle the whole time. That's what, especially as you get older, like as you, when you're a kid, like life kind of like, 
shuttles you around you know it's like oh you're doing this thing and now you're learning this thing Mm -hmm. and now you're here and now you're there and now you have to go to sleep and now you have to this so you kind of think that life will just you know take you different places but then as you get older it's like no you can actually just kind of stay in the same hole basically Mm. the same ditch on the side of the road for a long time yeah like no one's gonna force you to get out of there it's just you exactly so i'm saying if that's you which that's me right now then it's like okay time for a plan i want to get out of the jungle i need to make a plan Mm. so let's 2024 let's make some plans let's all make some more plans and let's make good plans Mm. and if the plan is not working it's not because you're lazy it's because you just need to make a new plan and possibly adjust all the details and the time of day and the day of the week and maybe the time of the month Amen. And maybe expectations. And yes. your expectations. <laughs> like yeah. maybe it's just way too ambitious. That's pretty much normal. Yeah. Being way too ambitious. So let's all make more plans. The end. Love all right, it. guys. If you want to get all of our full episodes, you got to join our Patreon. Linked in the description. Patreon.com slash Simorelli. You'll get all our full episodes. You'll support us. And you'll get all the cool things that come with whatever tier you sign up for. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. You've been listening to the Simorelli podcast. Follow Simorelli on Spotify and subscribe on YouTube. You can also find Simorelli on Facebook and Instagram. 